how to improve access to your digital world. Subtitle Horse is a website that allows you to easily create captions or subtitles. The files could be Flash video content, YouTube, Vimeo, or MP4 files. All you need to do is copy the URL into the field right here. Here below the title of the video is the share button. I click that and then the URL shows up. I right click that and click copy off of the menu. Now I return to my tab for Subtitle Horse and right click on the field and choose Submit. The Subtitle Horse window appears. Let's look at the interface a little. First over here is where you want to play the video. And underneath down here is where there is a list of commands and you will see that I like to use the control O command. On the right, the captioning will appear. Since the video starts up with audio, I will create my first caption by clicking Add at Current Time right here. The caption box appears. On the left hand side is where the timing is listed. The arrows allow you to alter the time manually. The right side is where you type in your caption. Let's play the video now and add the text for the first caption. Name, Thornton Lab West. I press pause to stop the playback. Now I could not understand the electronic device's speech. So in the caption box I type left parenthesis, device reads, right parenthesis, after that, I press Ctrl O to set up my next caption. I return to the play button and begin listening again. I again listen to the content and pause the video and type in what I've heard into the captioning box. This mainstream data collection device has been adapted by... I can then drag the playhead back to test if my captions are accurate. Name, Thornton Lab West. This mainstream data collection device has been adapted by... I use the command Control o to begin the next caption. Independent science with voice access software. I press play again and listen to the next segment. It has revolutionized laboratory access. I can then type in the caption box what I've heard. Now this is a short tutorial on using Subtitle Horse, so instead of adding more captions, I'm going to show you how to save the content. When you finish adding all the captions, you click on the File menu and then click Export. This window shows up. The default format is VTT, however, I want to save the file in something that I can use, so I select SRT. Then I click download. You will see that the video subtitles are being downloaded. They will be saved in your download folder. If you own any videos that are online and they aren't captioned, this is a means for you to add the captions yourself. You do have to have a hosting site where you can upload the caption content. We hope this video helps you to provide captions.